<laughs> hey, beautiful babes. It's Sweet Angel. Welcome into the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And as you saw by today's title, is all about hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. I go through a lot of this, okay? Yes, I know. It takes care of so much, and that's why I wanted to bring this video back around for a double take because everybody don't know. And we are here to let them know for sure. See, it is my duty to research, to find out, and also to compile everything I possibly can so my beautiful babes will be in the know. You know, we gonna find out things around here. We're going to dig deep. We're gonna lift up rocks. We're gonna uncover the mysteries on the things we wanna know about, right? And that's exactly why I'm here today. Now, so y'all probably got this just around the house. And you know, it's been sitting there for a minute and say, oh, well, I used to do this with it and I used to do that with it. But now we're going to wake it back up and make something happen. As I used to say, we're gonna wake it up and shake it up. That's right. Hydrogen peroxide has been around for a long time. We've all come across it. We've all had to use it for one reason or another. And now you're going to get back to using it because I got some highlights out of this world. I even have some of you all chiming in on some things you use it for. So that's what's really fun. Have you ever really sit down to think about all the uses of hydrogen peroxide from household uses and even beauty uses? It's extreme, but we're only going to touch on some of the major benefits and uses of it today. And if you have more, I want you to share those with us because we'd love to know. Now it's a little bit chilly today, so please excuse the heaters in the back and it's warming up these thunder thighs of mine. Yes, it is. So y'all, let's get right into this today. Number one, let's start off for the main purpose of hydrogen peroxide is that it is definitely an antiseptic. Hydrogen peroxide is usually sold over the counter in a 3% solution. Any higher concentration is not recommended. Now keep your bottle of hydrogen peroxide away from light and away from contaminants. This will slow down the breakdown of the chemical composition. Keep it away from humidity and store it in a dry place. Alternatively, it can also be stored in the freezer. Hydrogen peroxide, also known as H2O2, is composed of oxygen and water, the only germicidal agent of said composition. It is a weak acid and comes with innumerable uses as an antiseptic and as a substitute for bleaching agent and as a germicidal disinfectant. Usually available in your grocery store as a 3% aqueous solution, it has found its way into our beauty cupboards for its varied uses for skin, hair, teeth, and even ears. And of course, you know, it has a ton of household uses as well. Let's get right into all of its many uses. Let me share with you my thoughts of hydrogen peroxide for uses on the skin. Now, we all know that the skin produces excessive sebum or naturally occurring oils. This is what actually helps keep your skin moisturized and healthy. Some of the excess sebum actually can end up clogging the pores of the skin, which traps the dead skin cells and bacteria forming pimples. Now when it comes to hydrogen peroxide, when it's applied to the skin, the process of oxidation makes it difficult for the bacteria to survive. With the bacteria eliminated, the skin has a chance to heal. The peroxide acts as a peel, thus exfoliating the skin and exposing new skin cells. 
it is an agent for drying up the excessive oils on the skin. Whether the spot be an age spot, sun damage, hyperpigmentation, liver spot, which aren't related to our liver at all, but that's what they call it, or a dark spot left by acne, trying food grade hydrogen peroxide is definitely worth the try. And it's very easy to do. All you have to do is twice a week at night on clean, dry skin, pour a capful or less of hydrogen peroxide into a glass, dip a Q-tip, cotton swab, etc. into the hydrogen peroxide and run it along the sides of the container to remove excess hydrogen peroxide. You don't want it sopping wet, just enough to treat the spot. You can also mix in a tad bit of baking soda to thicken it up before dipping, but results will take longer. Apply the Q-tip to the spot only. Allow it to stay on your skin for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse off and pat dry. Afterwards, apply a hydrating product. And while using this treatment, be sure to wear sun protection during the day. Hydrogen peroxide for skin fungus. Now hydrogen peroxide can effectively kill the fungus on the skin level of your foot or area wherever it is that you have the fungus as well as any surface bacteria that could cause an infection. Just simply pour the peroxide directly onto the affected area. Now it may sting a little and it should bubble, especially if you have an open wound. Now speaking about wounds, when it comes to hydrogen peroxide, it works by killing bacteria, whether it is good healing bacteria or bad infection causing bacteria. Hydrogen peroxide is a mild antiseptic and it can be used to prevent infection of minor cuts and scrapes and burns. Hydrogen peroxide is commonly used for the treatment of abrasions, superficial wounds, and abscesses. Yes, for abscesses. The release of effervescent oxygen bubbles and their oxidizing effects on bacteria and viruses are normally considered as effective methods for the mechanical removal of any contaminant. Yes, hydrogen peroxide is an effective and excellent remedy for fighting a bacterial infection. Hydrogen peroxide is also great for the removal of moles. It has properties that will help remove moles when applied to the skin. In order to do this, you must be faithful to the cause. You must definitely apply it three to four times a day. But I've got to backtrack a little bit when it comes to the removal of moles. Please always ask a dermatologist before applying peroxide to moles and skin tags to ensure that they are non-cancerous or that they are not metastatic melanoma. Once it is determined to be for sure just a mole, then you can proceed and go forward. Ever heard of the term peroxide blonde? The term derives from the fact that H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide, is used as an agent to bleach hair of its natural color and lightening it before dyeing it in another. But while the chemical takes care of the germs and the free radicals in the hair, it also tends to strip away the natural oils in the hair. It is advisable to use a deep conditioning treatment after using any form of hydrogen peroxide solution on the hair. If you want to try this method to bleach your hair or peroxide blonde your hair, then simply combine one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide and two tablespoons of baking soda in a bowl to form a smooth paste. Wash and condition your hair as normal and section your hair while it is still damp. 
take the part which you wish to lighten and place an aluminum foil underneath and using a hair applicator brush, apply the mix to the section of hair. Roll up the foil so it remains intact and the paste does not spread. The warmth created by the foil will also help lighten the hair better. Repeat the same application process for all of the sections of your hair that you want to lighten. Leave it on for 30 to 45 minutes. Be careful not to leave it on for more than 60 minutes. We're talking about hydrogen peroxide for the teeth. Most importantly, this is number one. Hydrogen peroxide is used to help whiten the teeth, okay? So hydrogen peroxide is a natural agent for treating discoloration. And when used with baking soda, which helps remove surface stains on the teeth and remove plaque, it acts as a very effective teeth whitener. The combination of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda releases free radicals that help break down the stains on the teeth. Now, here is how you do it. You know I gotta let you know that. Just simply combine two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide and one tablespoon of baking soda and make a paste. Use a small amount of this paste on your toothbrush and brush gently. Rinse with water afterwards. If the mixture seems harsh for your teeth, a small amount of water can be added to dilute the mixture. This remedy can be implemented once or twice a week, once or twice a week, and results begin to show after about 10 weeks. Yes, we are here talking about the hands. Y'all know I love to keep my hands looking gorgeous. Now, the one thing I definitely use is trying to make sure to keep my nails from turning yellow. Ever had your nails get discolored from having nail polishes on for like long durations? Well, here's the quick fix. The same combination of hydrogen peroxide and baking soda that works on your teeth also works works wonders on yellow stains on your nails. Now, the following is a good scrub to use on your nails. Just keep in mind not to use the scrub more than once a month as nails can get weak due to overuse. Just simply take one tablespoon of the hydrogen peroxide and a tablespoon of the baking soda with water to form a paste. Now, use a toothbrush or you can use a nail brush and massage the paste onto the nails and even your toenails. Soak your fingers and feet in water for about five to 10 minutes and finally rinse with warm water to see the amazing results. Oh yes, honey, hydrogen peroxide uses for bad breath. Absolutely, is that mask telling off on you? <laughs> well, guess what? Hydrogen peroxide is used in the treatment of bad breath. Ever had a situation when you have brushed your teeth and yet the bad breath persists? Well, listen, now that you have already invested in a bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide, you might as well get more mileage out of it by using it as a mouthwash. Bad breath is caused by the bacteria in the mouth and hydrogen peroxide is an effective antibacterial agent. It can be used to eliminate the bacteria causing bad odor. However, there are good bacteria which are required for the flora and the fauna of the mouth. So do not overuse the following solution as it may kill the good bacteria as well. This is what you need. Combine a half cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide and a half tablespoon of honey with 10 drops of peppermint essential oil and a half cup of water. Store this solution in an airtight jar in a dark place. Do not expose this to natural sunlight as the sunlight breaks the hydrogen peroxide down. You can gargle this solution once a day. How about that? And I want to just make mention of several people who had 
made comments on how they use hydrogen peroxide when I released a similar video like this one before. And I wanted to share some of those things that were not actually covered in this particular video. There was one comment that was made regarding it working on dark spots. Uh, one of my subscribers did have shingles, scarring, covering one side of their face. And the dermatologist said the only way to clear it was by using microdermabrasion. And even though the area was still tender after three years, the thought of it made her cringe. One day she ran out of toner and decided to use hydrogen peroxide. And immediately it bubbled and became flaky. And within two weeks, her face was cleared. So that is just some information from an actual person that is viable. And now we have someone who also used peroxide on their plants to prevent and also to treat mildew. Then we have someone else who is a nurse that stated that they use peroxide to remove blood stains from white clothes. How about that? And ladies, if you will ever have an issue with leakage on your sheets and of course it's that time of the month then you can use peroxide to remove the blood stain from that there's others that have mentioned about using it for clearing up acne scars on their face here's another one that talks about using it to remove makeup and i've heard about it being used for ear aches and also to clean the ears out. Tons of people use peroxide and it's again been around four years. I've never heard of any issues regarding using peroxide. I did want to also mention when it came to pigmentation, someone had asked on how to apply it for pigmentation. It is simple as this, mix half peroxide, half water. Definitely, if you have sensitive skin, mix the water. There are some people who use it the 3% straight out the bottle. But if you have sensitive skin, I definitely recommend diluting it with water. Apply to the affected area two to three times a week. Using only 3% hydrogen peroxide, 3% hydrogen peroxide. Always do a patch test of course, when using it. Now, when you use it on the affected area, allow it to stay on your skin 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse and pat dry. And over time, the pigmentation will be reduced. And then on a final note, we did talk about it for the breath and breath odor. Many use it to gargle. Do not swallow it, just gargle and spit out get started now that's the best way to do it now let me just tell you on a note just for your own purposes on a note here do not use metal containers or bowls while using hydrogen peroxide see the metal reacts with the hydrogen peroxide and may cause harm now when using hydrogen peroxide on your hair if the chemical gets on your clothes it will cause the clothes to discolor okay so just a few tidbits and one other thing use hydrogen peroxide in small amounts and for short amounts of time now prolong use can harm your skin and make it unable to regenerate skin on its own so be sure do not overuse hydrogen peroxide now just a word of caution when it comes to using hydrogen peroxide it is an effective treatment for acne marks and other pigmentations it must be handled with caution though it is advised that it is used sparingly also the concentration of the aqueous solution has to be three percent or lesser if you have sensitive skin it is recommended that you consult a dermatologist before using this product all right beautiful babes that's it that's all i brought it to you right you got it right did you catch it all right if you didn't 
Put this on repeat. Share it with a friend. I'm Sweet Angel. I'm out of here for now, but I will see you on the next one. So in order to keep up with everything that's going on here, if you got something out of this video, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. And make sure you share it with a friend. Take care. Bye-bye.